Grinch putting the K in magic. I'm Joanna DeVoe, and you are watching day 23 of a very witchy Vlogmas. Day 23, that means it's almost over, and I had promised at some point, or threatened, I should probably say, <laughs> um, in the beginning of this series that I would do a beauty guru vlog for you. And a bunch of people said, yay, do it! So um, I'm gonna dedicate this vlog to my friend Heather, who is a total glamour puss. She is such a bombshell, and her face and her style, she can take a lot of makeup, and she looks slamming with like a red lipstick, and like some really cool eyeliner, and she's so glamorous. Summer Dressed in Pearls is her channel if you wanna check her out. Um, I am very fair skinned, so I cannot handle all of that makeup, and I am not a beauty guru, but something that I do for fun, just to let you in on my special brand of crazy is, well, I love to watch or more, I usually listen to beauty guru videos while I'm doing my own makeup. It's just fun and relaxing. And my favorite is Lisa, Lisa Duncan, Lisa, Lisa D1. Lisa, Lisa D1, um, she's not really a beauty guru. She's more like a chronic shopper, but I love her. And she sometimes does uh, tutorials. I love Hey Claire and Candy Johnson. I've got my favorites. I've got my favorites. Um, but I always uh, listen to them when I'm putting my own makeup on or something I do that is kind of weird is I pretend if I have time and I'm playing around like I'm a beauty guru. I love to like fantasize that I'm a beauty guru, <laughs> a YouTube beauty guru while I'm doing my makeup. So today I'm letting you in on that little fantasy with me. Uh, be forewarned, this is so not professional in any way. I am not a makeup artist. I do like makeup. I have a lot of fun with makeup. And I've really gotten into the brand e.l.f. this year, eyes, lip, face, because it's so affordable, but the quality is so awesome. So you can buy tons of it and play around with it and see what you love and see what you don't um, without any guilt, without a lot of guilt. <laughs> so I've had so much fun with that brand. So this makeup tutorial will be largely la 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 largely fa la 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 featuring elf products i have a lot of benefit that's one of my favorite brands and makeup forever i love that brand i have tons of elizabeth arden because a family member sends me a big old case of elizabeth arden every single year <laughs> i have quite a bit of Too faced and l'oreal i think is one of my favorite drugstore brands, but I've just been into the e.l.f. this year, so I'm just gonna feature all these products that I love from this company. Most of my makeup is in this bag, this bag, and this bag. These are brushes, and, uh, and then I've got some loose things hanging around. That is my Christmas wrapping station behind me. I've just been wrapping a little bit every day so I don't get overwhelmed, but I am wrapping up the wrapping today, so my living room can look nice and Christmassy before Christmas. So you're gonna see me without makeup. So if that scares you, you might wanna click off right now. If you're a dude and you don't wanna see a makeup video, that's okay too. I know some of you dudes actually wear makeup. Shout out to you, Corey. <laughs> so uh, here, here goes nothing. This is just for the fun of it, everybody. Enjoy. So here is me with no makeup! Woo! <laughs> I have already washed my face. I have already moisturized my face. I can't imagine a makeup artist on the planet that would tell you not to moisturize your face before you put your makeup on. Uh, it gives it something to... It makes it so it doesn't get into all the little nooks and crannies, and if it's a good moisturizer, it will keep your makeup looking fresh all day long. Uh, for me, just let's start here with my blank face. I have extremely blonde eyebrows. I'm starting to get little white Santa Claus eyebrows. <laughs> and um, almost invisible eyelashes. I do have eyelashes, but they are they're fine and they're blonde like my hair. So it depends on the lighting, like if you see my eyebrows or my eyelashes. So that's always a thing with me. And also because my eyelashes are almost invisible, it makes my eyes look very small and close together. I also have a triangle nose, 
which also makes my eyes look small and close together. So a big part of me doing my makeup is to make my eyes, or try to make my eyes look wider, bigger, and further apart. I'm not really into contouring. I have made friends with my nose a long, long time ago. I do a little swipe swipe with some bronzer, but nothing, nothing major. I'm not into like the weird Kardashian <laughs> contouring clown trend. Um, that's so popular this year. I really have to keep it natural because I'm so fair. The more makeup I put on, the weirder I look. But I love playing with makeup, so by the end of it, you're gonna be like, you just put a lot of makeup on your face, Joe, and you'd be right, I did. So let's start with, well, this is, this is primer. I've tried, I don't know, a lot of primers this year. This was the year of primer. I tried um, three by the brand Benefit, which I love. I love that brand. And I tried a couple by e.l.f. And my favorite so far is this one by e.l.f. It is Illuminating Face Primer. I also tried their Mineral Primer, but this one's my favorite. It's in a little pump. I just do two little pumps like that. And I do like brushes and sponges and stuff like that, but, um, when it comes to primer and foundation, I just use my fingers. I put it here. I have a deep line that started in my teens right here, probably from growing up in uh, sunny California and like scowling into the sun a lot. I put it here. I put it here. These marionette lines. I don't have them too bad, but I do have this. I have a lot of dental issues, so I'm very sensitive about being on camera always actually <laughs> but without makeup especially because I've had dental work done to the front of my teeth so they're like all different colors and then part of like this down here that where I'm putting primer I'm also just rubbing this into my pores that's from the dental work like you'll sometimes maybe notice that I have like little hollows right here that is from the dental work and I hope to get that fixed if when I get it fixed it has been estimated that it will cost $20,000 to fix everything. I will let you know what the everything is at that time and I will take you on that journey with me because I think it will just be a really interesting behind the scenes. But this is me rubbing the primer in. The thing with primer, for me, it's probably different for everybody, but I just focus on where there's little wrinkles. And I have big pores, um, which I was informed of in, I can't remember if it was fifth or sixth grade, but I went to Clinique, like beauty school. They did like the special thing my parents sent me to, and I was informed that I have gray toned teeth, so my teeth would never look pearly white, <laughs> and that I had big pores, which was a horrible thing to tell a 10 year old girl. Um, it totally gave me a complex, and I'm sure it was just a ploy to sell makeup, but it worked. So this is, sorry, I have it on my fingers now. I'll have to tell you what it is after, but it is a serum. It's a foundation serum that e.l.f. makes, and I've tried a lot of different foundations this year as well. I love BB cream. I love, what is that L'Oreal? Magic, something magic BB cream. That is my favorite BB cream. I bought one in Little Tokyo. It's so thick. It, it was basically looked like I painted my face and it smelled like gasoline. So I won't be using that one ever again. But right now, this is my current favorite. Elf Foundation Serum, and it's also in a pump. Pump, 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 pump it up. Wow, I can actually see my eyebrows in this lighting. Maybe that means you can see them too. Sometimes they just don't even show up. <laughs> um, I was worried about doing my makeup because I can't see my own eyebrows in certain bathrooms. So I'll have to like go outside to see my eyebrows because I draw them on, which is one of the next steps. But next is concealer. I have two brushes that I use for concealer. I don't know who makes these brushes. Spoolie, this is, a, no, that's not the brand, that's what this is, this is a spoolie. But this is like a hard angled brush, and then this is just, this is probably not for concealer, but I like it for concealer because it has this little edge here. And what I, see I have these, like, circles under my eyes, they're like poofy bags. So when you have the poofy bags, what you don't wanna do is just put concealer under your eyes. 
you want to actually kind of highlight the shadow under the bag and try to pull that out so it's more of like a smooth line this is not you I mean short of surgery there's nothing you're gonna ever do to get rid of that and with makeup you can make it look good until you go like that <laughs> So basically just you have to walk around like this forever or people are gonna see um, your under eye bags So that's what this is for. So what I do is I'll take it like this and then I take the edge of this And I go like that And I just get it on the end like that. Oh, this is weird. This is gonna be weird. This is where it gets weird <laughs> um, Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't know if I can do this I need a mirror. Oh wow, that is hard to do. I can't do it, oh my gosh, because this is backward. Holy, I can't do it, oh no, I'm a terrible beauty guru. How do we do this? I need a, I need a mirror for this side, I can't do it. Ah, I kind of messed up my little thing here. Okay, so remember when I talked about making my eyes further apart and bigger? That's why this here, this part of your eye is usually just darker anyway. I tend to do that, and then whatever is left, I just go like this. Because these are the parts now, as I'm aging, that want to like, they want to make that like hangdog face. <laughs> so, and then, um, I try to just stay in that trough underneath the bag instead of blending all the way up to the waterline. So I brush it on a little bit and then I just tap it. I'm like tapping it in. Can you see that? Instead of rubbing it in, I'm just tap, tap, tapping. I will do that in the middle here. And then I'll also kind of use it as a, um, eyeshadow primer. I don't think I have that many wrinkles in my forehead, but it looks like it today. I think because I'm doing all of this. <laughs> I don't know how those people that have like the beauty guru channels, how they do this without making like a million crazy faces because how do you put mascara on without being like, like making the worst faces ever? You know that YouTube is going to grab that as a screenshot. That is why I make my own thumbnails. Before I learned how to make my own thumbnails, or before YouTube even allowed that, oh my gosh, I had some of the most hilarious, awful, unflattering thumbnails ever. So, green. Green counteracts red. So see this little polka dot right here? Oh gosh, again? Sorry guys, I'm not the best, um, the best at this. Let's try to do it like that. Can you see? Okay. Green polka dot. I mean, if I want to go crazy, I've got, you know, I've had acne since I was 11 years old, so I have a lot of scarring. I'm very sensitive about it, although much less now that I'm older. I used to be extremely sensitive about, like, the lighting in any room, because kind of like I was saying about my eye bags, like, if you have acne, you can put your makeup on and you look good in the mirror. But the second you go into like harsh lighting or overhead lighting, it's just craters and bumps and it looks terrible. And I had to go through high school like that. Um, I suspect part of the reason why I've had so many health problems, allergies, depression, and anxiety is because I was on um, antibiotics constantly, all through junior high and all through high school for acne. And then ultimately I went on Accutane which is horrible. Please don't do that to your body. We did not know at the time what that does to your insides. Although, I will say, that was a case of willful ignorance because it came with a pamphlet that showed you I had to go on birth control pills. Even though my parents were like, we're Christians, she's not having sex. I had to go on birth control pills to get the Accutane because it comes with this pamphlet of what will happen to your baby if you get pregnant while on Accutane and it's not good news. It's, it was very sad, but it it wrecked me. It dried everything out. The inside of my nose was peeling and I would try to like, 
peel it off and it would just keep peeling like straight on up into my sinus cavity and it hurt in a way that is so memorable. Nothing else <laughs> could ever feel like that. Um, here's this. And then I did. I had clear skin for years after that. Um, she was. I need that mirror again. So it did like help to get rid of the acne and it was very exciting to get to finish out high school with relatively clear skin. But um, at what cost? I mean, I think it really damaged my health. So, and I think once you have acne, it's kind of like, you know, kids that grow up really overweight and get made fun of for being fat and get they get called fat. It's like once you're fat, you're fat for life. It doesn't matter how in shape you get. You always have that little kid that was teased for being fat in the back of your mind. I am the same way with um, acne. I need to pluck my eyebrows, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Some beauty guru I am. Okay, now this is the part I think that is going to be very challenging. Maybe I can do one eye for you. I'll try. I can't do it. I'm gonna need to do the mirror. But this, this is not e.l.f. Almost everything I'm showing you today is e.l.f. But this is Maybelline and I've been buying the same one for, this is Blonde by Maybelline. I've been buying this for 20 years, almost 20 years because, here let me show you what I'm doing. Let me get close. What I do is I draw, I almost overdraw my eyebrow, not quite, just to the very, very edge. And then I draw it out because I, like I said, I want to pull my eyes out. So I do the top first like this. I'll do both so you can see. Hold on, let's do it like that. Are you just seeing my hand? Wow, I really need to pluck my eyebrows. They're so hard for me to see that I don't notice that I need to pluck my eyebrows until I'm in my car in like some hardcore light. So I actually keep a pair of Tweezerman eyebrows, uh, <laughs> eyebrow tweezers in my car because it's the only time like I'll be sitting at a stop sign or something. It's there. So that's how I do that. So Sharon Stone, at the peak of her fame, like right after Basic Instinct, when she was doing a bunch of movies, um, she was in, I feel like it was an episode of In Style Magazine, and uh, I loved her. I thought she was so fabulous and so glamorous, and she could have afforded any makeup in the whole world, and I was so surprised when she said she uses this for her eyebrows. Maybelline Blonde, you get two in a pack for just a few bucks, and she said it's the best thing for your eyebrows. So I immediately, because I worshipped Sharon Stone, I thought she was just... Style! She was just like, it wasn't that I thought her acting was so great, I just loved her style. Um, and then I brushed them out. Actually, I usually do powder before I do this, but what the heck. Sorry, my phone rang, and now I, I don't remember who that... I don't remember where I was about talking about Sharon Stone, but um... My point was, I have been using that ever since because I thought she had the raddest style and they work, this blonde, if you buy eyebrow pencils that say blonde or ash, they can make your eyebrows look green, but those are like the perfect colored eyebrows for me. Blonde by Maybelline, it's just in a little red stick. Okay, this is, the phone call flustered me, man, man. That was my ex-husband, by the way, <laughs> FYI. That's why I'm so flustered, okay. Elf High Definition Powder. This is an awesome, oh, what do they call them? I just do this over my eyebrows. What do they call, I wanna say foil, it's not a foil, dupe. This is an awesome dupe for those banana, yellow banana powders that are so popular. This is a yellow tone powder. And I just kinda put it on like sloppy, like this. Super sloppy. Um, to set my makeup, and then I will take this brush right here. I take this, this is a cover girl. It's a super light, like fairer than my skin powder, like this. And then I go like this. 
and that little triangle of light for my T-zone here. And then I take a sponge. I'm gonna do this a number of times with the sponge. I hate to look like I have makeup on my face. I hate it. So all this effort is done to look like I'm not wearing makeup. <laughs> So I hate that like craggly powdered face look. So I take water and moisturizer and I like tap all over it until it looks like skin again, which is hilarious. I probably am undoing a lot of the work that I just did. So once I've powdered it, then I go through and I brush the powder through my eyebrows, which sets them and these, these stay for me awesomely all day long. And then I have eyebrows. See, doesn't that like change my face already? I think it's badass. And then these little, this is dirty because I use it a lot. And I didn't get this till uh, the summer sometimes. So I've used it a lot since I got it. These are highlighters. They come in all these pastel colors, but my favorite is the gold. So I just get it on both sides of the brush. And then I go like this. I put it, oh, this is so hard to do without a mirror. I put it here, here, Cupid's bow, over my eyebrows like this, and then I blend it with, and that's just to like lift right there. And then whatever's left, I do the corners of my eye to again like separate my eyes and start to pull them it pulls this part forward anything light a light color a highlighting color will pull it'll make that area like come forward and then dark is to make it recede or to make it like go out so I do light on the inner corners and then dark on the outside Oh, and now this palette I've been using, let's see. I don't want to shine you at you, but it's an e.l.f. palette that I'm obsessed with. I've bought three more of these because I live in fear that they're going to get rid of it. It's mad for matte. I love matte shadows. I do not like shimmery. I just, those shimmery powders, they're fine when you're like a teenager, but after that, they make your eyes look so crepey. So I'm gonna use, sorry, it's hard not to show you the mirror. I'm gonna use this one, this uh, pinky light one as the lightest color. This brown will be the dark one that I use. And then this kind of camel sable looking color is what I blend it all together with. Another brush, I've had this brush forever. Don't ask me where I got it from because I don't remember. And again, this is, I do the inner corner like this. Oh my God, <laughs> my eyes are gonna look so weird. I cannot do this stuff of my face. And then whatever's left, I kind of do like under right here to give that some lift so my eyes don't like droop. I want them to be like that, if I can make it happen. And then I'll do under here a little bit like that. This part, I 100% for sure need a mirror. I'm looking off here into these little, I have some eyeliners in here. I have quite a few of these. This is from, my mom went to Japan when she was 18. It was the only time she ever traveled before she became a missionary later in her like late 50s and 60s, so. <sighs> she brought these little sake glasses back and that is what I hold my makeup in. So this is just a brown from e.l.f. You can see, holy crap, I've used it a ton. This I have to have a mirror, so, and I still don't think I can do it because I need two hands. Let's see, I put this here on the computer. I pull my eye back a little like that and then I just, I get it right in the lash line like this. It's gonna look probably, oh, you can see it. I didn't know if you guys would be able to see it. I just do the outside and I try to get it like down into the lash line. This is gonna be messy. It usually looks a little bit better than this. And then I take this angled brush. This is like a really stiff angled brush. And I take that darker brown color I showed you. Again, I have to do this like this or I will screw it up big time. And I go right over it. Like this. 
and then I pull it out and up. It depends on where I'm going. I mean, if I'm gonna do something fancy, I'll do like an awesome big old cat eye, you know? I'll make it a little exaggerated for the video today. I always blow off the excess, off the um, brush, because otherwise the powder will rain down and you'll have to like fix your makeup. It'll kind of undo all of the work that you did on your face. That's why some people do their eye makeup first, but I'm not one of those people. This is a Sonia Shack. Why can't I say her name, Allison? Shakush. I don't remember her name. What is this makeup artist's name, everybody? I've used this so many years, I've rubbed the, the name off. Um, you know what I'm talking about. She sells her stuff at Target, and it's like the best quality. I'm just like spacing on her name, but I'm gonna take this sable color again, blow like that, and then I go right over the top of what I just did, and up a little, right over the top of what I just did, and up a little. I only put product once on each side because I don't want a lot of it, and then I just start going like this. I don't go all the way up to my eyebrows, but I um, I have like a big, poofy, I don't know what this is, like this bone. I have just a bony, like Scandinavian, Russian, Germany, I don't know, skull. <laughs> I have like bones, bone structure. Um, so you have to do, you know, what works for you. If you like got Asian eyes, you know, like this would probably be the worst makeup ever <laughs> for you. You know, or if you're, you've got dark, dark brown skin, like don't listen to me. You gotta find what works for you. And you know, this is just what works for me. I think this is another Sonia Kashuk. Why can't I think of her name? But this is just a soft, soft, super smushy, soft brush that I just go in and blend and blend and blend because I don't want any hard lines. And I'm not, I'm not precious with it. I'm not precious with anything. <laughs> um, and I feel like when it gets really meticulous, you know, and it can look really beautiful, like if you're going to a hol holiday party or something, but um, it's hard to maintain when you live a life like mine. If you're active, if you're doing dishes, if you're grocery shopping and stuff, like the second you go like that and it's smeared, it's all jacked up. So why not have the whole thing just be jacked up and sneery on purpose, kind of? <laughs> so the next step is this medieval torture device looking thing, and it is an eyelash curler. I could do this in my sleep. I've been doing this for years. My mascara is going to look so ick. You can't keep mascara nice. If you can keep mascara nice, for more than like a few days, hats off to you. I don't know how you do it, but I use this Manga by L'Oreal and I've been using the falsies. This is Maybelline on top. I do two. And keeping with that same theme of like pr trying to draw the eye out that way, this is how I do it. Almost impossible to talk So that is the first layer. It is just on the outsides, and you might have noticed I'm like wiggling the brush. That's because I start at the base of the lash line and I wiggle up out to the tip. And you kind of want to do that with the eyelash curler too. You start at the base and then you clamp up so you don't, so it's not just like bent in half like that. You're trying to get like a curl going. The falsies! I suck at putting on false eyelashes. But I love them. I love to buy them. <laughs> um, but many a night I've been like, I'm wearing false eyelashes tonight. And then I end up like, I end up just in frustration, like ripping them off and having to start all over again. Oh, isn't it the worst when you blink and then you get like the mascara all down here? <laughs> like if your mascara is getting clumpy, I feel like that's when that happens. It didn't happen this time, yes! <laughs> but what did happen is I totally did this in the wrong order because I never do my eye makeup before doing my blush, so. Because I don't want to get mascara in my brushes here, but I don't know. I'm on camera and I'm like flustered, I'm not doing this right. But this is an e.l.f. palette and 
it's a really pretty one. Their blushes are awesome. So this is an angled contouring brush. So I do the the um, like the bronzy. What am I trying to say? It's like a bronzer, like a tan color. I do it like this, with the darkest point, like this. I'm gonna go. I do, this is the only little contouring I do. I do up here. I guess this is contouring too, isn't it? I love this dimple in my chin. Sometimes I wish it was more of a dimple in my chin. And this one, I kind of have like one and a half dimples on my cheeks. But I like them. That's one thing I like about my face. <laughs> And then I really, I tend to just use these top two. So I use that really light pink as a blush. And again, I'm not really precious with it. I do it in a really sloppy way because then I take this big old thing. And again, don't do this before you do my, your mascara because or don't do this after your mascara, because then you can end up accidentally smearing your mascara. I just did it in the wrong order today. So I'm almost done. This is kind of weird. I thought ahead, because I use water. I do my makeup in the sink. I get a sponge wet like this. I'm just gonna, and I wring it out. You can use a beauty blender, and I do have a beauty blender, and I love the idea of a beauty blender. If you don't know what a beauty blender is, it's this. And it's like for contours and stuff, but the way you're supposed to use a beauty blender is you completely soak it, squeeze it out, and then it's supposed to help with your makeup distribution, but I actually prefer these little tri cheapy triangle sponges. I like them. So I set my makeup like this. I do have an e.l.f. mister spray that's supposed to set your makeup, but I've been doing this for so long that you know, I'll get something like that and it's really fun at first, but then I end up just falling back into my regular routines. Usually like a couple new things will stick, like the primer and things like that. I'll find something that I like that works itself into the routine, but, um, and this usually only takes me like 10 minutes. It's taking me a long time today because I'm talking and it's hard to do on camera. And I don't wear makeup every day. I wear makeup if I'm making videos or if I'm, going somewhere nice but if I just have to run to the grocery store I'll just put on like black sunglasses and lipstick and that is it I have some spots that I will sometimes if I'm feeling ambitious try to go back over with concealer but they just don't want to be concealed so I usually don't bother but let's bother today shall we let's bother Doo -doo -doo. That's me. The lipstick now is gonna make this all come to life. I drug this very sexy plastic bag. I just, I lost a lipstick lid and got lipstick all over the inside of a gorgeous $350 Dean handbag. It's all like leather on the inside and I got lipstick on it. So now I'm dragging my makeup around in a Ziploc. This is the one. It got smushed, see the top of it there? But I love this. I've been searching for the perfect cheap lipstick that looks, looks like your lips only better. And this is the one I found. It is Mega Slicks Wet n Wild Moisturizing Lip Color. It's a balm stain and oh, the shade is called Made You Pink. And that's it. That is my, yes, I'm wearing makeup, but I'm trying not to look like I'm wearing too much makeup, makeup face. <laughs> Have yourself a very witchy vlogmas, and I will be back here tomorrow. Hope you guys liked this. Let me know what your favorite beauty products are in the comments down below. We'll compare notes. You might already know this about me, but when I find something I like, I feel like the whole world needs to know. <laughs> So I might have gotten a little bit carried away buying e.l.f. products for my mother and sister. Some I have already wrapped and these are all my favorite things. 
from Elf. It's such a good company too. They email you like almost every day. So if you, that could be good or bad, I guess, depending on how you look at it. But they're constantly having like giveaways and gift with purchases and discounts and free shipping. And the makeup is such high quality for such low prices that it's really fun. I just thought this was a fun way for me to enter back into my girliness, which I had really gotten away from with so many years of just being a hippie kind of, but I think a lot of that was just by default. And because I, the fun that I've had getting back into all of my favorite girly things this year, it feels so me. It feels like coming back to myself and so I'm having a blast with makeup, of all things. Oh my God, you cannot make this stuff up. I swear on my life, this just happened. I just recorded that footage of me showing you the makeup and saying what a good company Elf is. And then FedEx pulled up outside my window less than five minutes later. I got this luxury brush collection set for being such a good customer this year. For free, just cause. How cool is that? I don't know if you've heard me say before, but that I'm a sucker for good marketing, but I totally am. I get it. I get that they want my money, but man, when you do it with such style like this and you make your customers feel so good, I'm like, here, take my money. Take my money, eyes, lip, face. You can have it. That is it, my friends. Until we meet again, have yourself a very witchy Vlogmas. Happy Solstice, Happy Yule, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to you. Much love, peace.